This problem asks if the set of all vectors um, uh, x, y, and z such that the z term is zero, uh, if that is a subspace in R3. Um, so again, we need, to know if it's a subspace, we need to know that it contains a zero vector, which it does, um, and that it's closed under scalar multiplication and addition. Um, so let's start with scalar multiplication. If we have a scalar a multiplied by our vector v, that's going to be uh, ax, ay, uh, and az. Now our original vector v had z equal to 0. So a multiplied by our z, which is 0, that's going to be 0 still. So we can see if we multiply our vector v by uh, scalar a, the z term is always going to stay 0. So yes, this, is ve this vector is closed under scalar multiplication. Uh, now let's try addition. I'm going to define two vectors um, that are part of this set. So v1 is going to be x, y, and 0. And v2 is going to be a, b, 0. Both of them have 0 for their um, z term. Um, now just adding them together. Adding these vectors together, the zero term stays zero. Um, so we can see that this, uh, this set um, is closed uh, under addition, and therefore it is a subspace in R3. Um, so for the second part of this problem, we need to sketch this set, um, which if the zero term is zero, this is pretty much just the x, y plane. Um, so I'll draw a three-dimensional three space this is x, this is y, and that's z. Um, this set is just going to be all the xy plane. That's some, some perspective in there. Um, so that's what this set looks like. Um, so that's it.